Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really noticed what you want With you I don't ever feel calm the world of PC's latest Windows 10 Enterprise 2016 LTSB 1607 release called Nexus Light OS 10 LTSB has set two new records in regard to the All Stars Best of the Best Windows 10 Custom Builds Low End Desktop Gaming PC leaderboard. Firstly, its amount of CPU processes, including all the drivers and my benchmark apps and utilities installed, is 36 in total. Even on my test laptop, I have never had such a tiny amount of processes. The lowest amount till date was 40 on FoxOS 105. This is the by far best value that I've ever experienced since I've been testing Windows custom builds. And a new record. Secondly, its RAM usage is 974 megabytes at idle. And this is another record. On the other hand, there are always two sides to every story, right? And in the case of the world of PC's Nexus Lite OS 10 LTSB, it is its latencies. A 283 higher average interrupt to process latency and a 25% higher average interrupt to DPC latency on power plan balance compared to vanilla Windows 10 Pro 21H2 are by far the worst latencies that I've ever measured since I've been testing Windows custom builds. These latencies are so unbelievably bad, they are even way worse than FoxOS latencies, which were till then the worst latencies. However, the good news is that it is possible on Nexus Lite OS 10 LTSB to counteract against these bad latencies by switching to the integrated Nexus Lite OS power plan. Interestingly, and as a side note, by doing so, its latencies turn out to be among the best that can be reached. Or, to put it in other words, the World of PC's trolling score is 100 points. Alright then, my subscribers. It's getting sunny and hot outside, hence grab your favorite cold beverage and let's get started. Always sorry the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you It's stupid When I'm alone with you I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you I knew this When I'm with you I feel so useless I feel diluted My heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a time Never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I could feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free
A subscriber of the World of PCs YouTube channel described Nexus Lite OS X LTSB as being better than Atlas OS. Well, the facts and figures that we've just seen are more than clear. In terms of general total out performance, the user's impression was right. Nexus Lite OS X LTSB clearly outperforms Atlas OS 1803 by 1.31%, which is a massive value. Especially when considering the fact that Atlas OS 1803 is currently on the third position on the All-Stars low-end desktop gaming PC leaderboard that features only the best of the best Windows 10 custom builds. A little leak, so to say, at this point only for my subscribers. Since I have informed the world of PC about his very good results with Nexus Lite OS X LTSB and thus finally having found a worthy opponent in regard to RecOS, it seems like he might thinking about creating a Windows 10 1709 based custom build. And will it eventually beat RecOS, the reigning king made by Recnotic in terms of general outperformance? Well, who knows? We will see. Yes, I definitely recommend Nexus Lite OS X LTSB to all my subscribers who are equipped with older respectively legacy hardware and who want to use a fast and nicely made Windows 10 custom build based on Windows 10 Enterprise 2016 LTSB 1607. And especially my subscribers who are equipped with legacy hardware and necessarily need to run a Windows 10 based system, for example because of certain software that cannot be run on any other operating system, should definitely take a look at Nexus Lite OS 10 LTSB because Though RecOS 0.4 is still the king in terms of performance, Nexus Lite OS 10 LTSB comes noticeably with fewer bugs, fewer errors and fewer crashes. This being said, all my subscribers equipped with weak hardware, but who want to run the latest software and who don't necessarily need a Windows-based platform should also consider installing respectively using a lightweight new Linux distro. I personally recommend Lubuntu, LXLE, Xubuntu, Peppermint OS or partially even Poppy Linux as possible new Linux-based operating systems when it comes to legacy hardware. And what do my subscribers think about Nexus Lite OS X LTSB? As always on my channel, feel free to share your experiences by leaving a comment. Silhouettes of you are like a dawn. Never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palms. Play with me like cats and a string.